Let me just find you. Here we go. All right. How's grade nine? Are you keeping well? Well, we're going to now do um, seven till 11. Not the supermarket. We're going to do page seven to page 11. And before we start, let's see the opening prayer. Okay. Let's just load it up. And then we'll do together <clears throat> the opening prayer. Have a, bread, have a meditative breath. And may the wisdom of the all-compassionate one so shine within our hearts and minds this day that we may be enlightened in our acts, thoughts and deeds. So shall we learn to be true, good and happy and attain the spiritual peace. Namo Buddhaya, Namo Buddhaya, Namo Buddhaya. Okay, so it's very important to do a little meditation in the day. Now, rushed academic stress. So our overall topic is what is the common good? And we're on page seven. Okay, students, I'd like you to read page seven together with me. And then I'd like to ask some of you students to share the table that you have completed and see the activity on valuing a virtue. Okay, so that's the one on page six on the previous video, actually. <clears throat> so you're just jumping in. Then we'll move on to points to ponder. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's move through. I, I'm not sure about if that is, uh, I think it is, uh, the one on page six. Anyway, let's move on. Uplifting realizations. It is a challenge to create fully a, this is reading from the top of page seven. It is a challenge to create fully a just society where there is a fair distribution of material goods and equal rights. However, every person is encouraged to start from where he is at the moment so that in his own little way he can uphold <coughs> and promote the common good. The following are possible ways on how you can practice actions that embrace the common good. In the family, <clears throat> taking care of your things, cleaning the house, doing your chores, being considerate to others, obeying your parents and elders, being generous and selfless, and <clears throat> being a good older or younger sibling. Okay. <clears throat> Sorry, I've got it up in my throat. <clears> throat. Excuse me. The following are possible ways on how you can practice actions that embrace the common good. <clears throat> in the school, taking care of the school facilities, cleaning the room, <clears throat> keeping the school grounds clean, participating in the reduce, reuse and recycle program of the school, obeying school authorities, listening to the teacher, respecting the rights of other students to study and following the rules and regulations of the school. Moving on. In the community, segregating trash. Sorry, the following are possible ways on how you can practice actions that embrace the common good. In the community, segregating trash, <clears throat> sweeping the yard or front porch, front porch, not disturbing the peace of other people, respecting the property of your neighbours, obeying the barangay officials or association officers, Taking care of common facilities like the park, playground, basketball court, 
call in the plaza on the sharing of goods. Moving on. So now we're over to page two, page eight. Students, please answer the points to ponder on page eight. Can you think of other ways by which you can promote the common good at home, in school, in your community? And you can write that question out and you can write the three responses into a text message. You don't have to use the, the box in your community. How can you show appreciation to your teachers who embody justice and fairness? And then how can a community, community establish and institutionalize practices that promote the common good? Got that? So you can pause this here while you copy those out. I'll move on. We have a summative test, the engagement part, right, to identify the person or the concept that is being described by the following items. Write your answer on the space before the number. <clears throat> One, this refers to the good of all people and of the whole person. Two, this refers to the right of every person not to be treated in an unfair, discriminatory manner. Three, this refers to working together to attain a shared goal and vision. Four, this refers to the members complementing one another and benefiting from the strength of every member. Complementing in that sense means harmonizing or they their qualities um, improve each other and support each other because complimenting can also mean oh you're very pretty or you're very clever that's a compliment with an i compliment this is complementing one another and benefiting from the strength of every member so the whole group works well five this refers to the foundation that supports school children who need to traverse, cross, means to cross, long distances and perilous paths in getting to school. Clear? So you can take a screenshot at this point, so I'm going to move on to page 9. This refers to those who make up society and exist with others and for others. Seven, this refers to the basic unit of a society wherein common good can be practiced. Eight, this refers to a simple way of upholding the common good with regard to the property of our neighbours. Nine, this refers to the Vatican II document which defines common good as the total, sum total of social conditions which allow people, either as groups or as individuals, to reach their fulfillment more fully and more easily. And lastly, 10, this refers to the part of the 1987 Philippine Constitution that states the commitment of the Filipino people to promote the common good. <clears throat> Okay, so those ones research into the text previously, almost certainly you will find the answers there. So it's a kind of research and analyze an answer. Next part, page nine, be the change you want to see. Think of three actions that you do which do not contribute to the attainment of the common good of the family and write them below the self-assessment column, excuse me. Then think of ways that you can do 
to correct these so as to promote the common good within your family. Self-assessment and corrective aims. Good. Next. I would like some of you students to share your answers. So this was what I actually was referring to earlier on about the table. This is the table. Clear? So I want you to pass those once you've done them, you can either remake a new table or you can use that screenshot or this screenshot as your basis. But you can also make your own table and fill it in as well. It's the same, same thing. Clear. But, al but always add the text before to clear so it's clear what's, <coughs> what's, what it is. <clears throat> okay. Think of three actions you think this is change begins with my family. Oh, I don't know that. Do not contribute to the tenure of your community. Right, yeah, this is C. It doesn't actually say that there, I don't think. Yeah, it's this one, which is C. It's the bottom of page nine. Think of three actions you think your family is doing that do not contribute to the attainment of the common good of the community and below them, write them below the self-assessment column. Then think of things that you can do as a family to correct these so as to promote the common good of the family. And there they are, self-assessment column, corrective actions. Okay, let's um, move. And again, I would like some of you students to share your answers. It isn't put there as a performance task, it's a voluntary action. Page 10. Students, please do the case study, that's the situational analysis, situation one, situation two, on page 10. Situation analysis, situation one. You have been saving money from your allowance for almost a year now to buy an electronic gadget. There were days that you did not join your friends at the mall or hang out at cafes or a nice restaurant because you were intent on your goal. All of a sudden, this is continued, all of a sudden your father announces to the family that he has been fired from his job. He is passing, sorry, he is trying to look for work, but it seems that some months will pass before he can find one. Your mother suggests that a small grocery would be a good way to earn money while your father is jobless. However, they would need additional capital for the business venture. Continuing, you are torn between getting your gadget or giving your hard-earned savings to help your parents. Mm. A friend told you that it is the responsibility of your parents to take care of your family and that you have all the right to spend your money on something that you like because you've sacrificed a lot in saving that amount. What are you going to do? Okay, so there's one solution there. There's a second solution and then the best solution. So yeah, take a screenshot or just write possible solution one, possible solution in the messenger chat. Okay, situation two, the case study two, situation two. A few months ago, the officers of the Homeowners Association of your village decided to increase the Homeowners Association fee, which covers garbage, collection, security and lighting for the community. Your father felt that the increase was reasonable since gasoline prices, 
cost of living and utility costs also increased in the previous months. Continued. However, you heard some of your neighbours saying that the increase was unreasonable since there had already been a significant increase during the previous year. Now you discover from the Community Bulletin Board that a good number of your neighbours were not paying their homeowners association dues. And also you notice that the garbage collection, which used to be twice a week, was changed to once a week. Some lamp posts have been turned off at night, which makes it inconvenient for some people to walk the streets. Through the help of your family, how can you convince your neighbours to act for the common good? One possible solution, one possible solution, two, and the best solution. Okay, uh, on to page 11. This is the scaffolding for the performance task. <clears throat> okay, I want you to create a concept map about the common good. Clear? About the common good. And include the various ways wherein one can promote the common good at home, can promote the common good in the school, and can promote the common good in the community as a concept map. Make sure to add how the concept of the common good can help individuals and communities attain their goals. Clear? Good, good. So the criteria, the rubrics as it's known, the criteria, um, how it's going to be scored, three points, two points and one point. So the criteria about the concept map, so for three points, that concept map has a high quality, it is very appealing and skillfully done. For two points, the concept map has an acceptable quality and it is appealing and somewhat skillfully done. For one point, the concept map has a low quality. It is not appealing and unskillfully done. So for un about unity, for three points, the concepts are highly co cohesive and highlighting each other. For two points, the concepts are consistent and support each other, but not so good. And one point, the concepts are unrelated. They're not linked up. They don't seem to show much about each other. Okay, And the, for the purpose, uh, three points, the output achieves the task's objective successfully and convincingly. The two points, the output achieves the task's objectives acceptably. And for only one point, output does not achieve the task's objectives. But Lisa, something there. On to the summary. Gaudium et spes, if I pronounce that correctly, defines the common good as the sum total of social conditions which allow people, either as groups or as individuals, to reach their fulfillment more fully and more easily. Parents, and then the next point, Parents and children can uphold common good in the family through equality, cooperation and independence. I just want to check the, the pronouncement. How do you pronounce that? <clears throat> not really giving me a quick answer, but I'll I'll be looking that up uh, as well. I'm not sure if it's spes or spay, and you don't pronounce the s. Okay, um, moving on then. In the context of the common good, equality is seen 
as the right of every person not to be treated in an unfair and discriminatory ma manner, it is through a shared vision of a just and fair society with the willingness of the leaders and members to participate and contribute to the attainment of such can the concept of the common good flourish. In the pursuit of the common good, the importance of interdependence becomes all the more significant since every person is important and hence should be given due consideration in every decision or action. And then it round, we round it off with a quote at the bottom, of page 11 before finishing. The great thing a little lamp can do, which the big sun cannot do, is to give light at night. It shows that no one is superior by size, but by purpose. If we cannot do should be great things, we can do small things in a great way. Yellow Boat of Hope Foundation. All right, uh, let's pause before going on to the closing prayer. Here we have it. Are you ready? Take a deep breath, relax your body. Reverently do we pray to thee, the holy and perfect one. We earnestly resolve to understand thy teaching and to daily tread thy path. So shall, like thee, we may attain the peace of Nirvana. Namo Buddhaya, Namo Buddhaya, Namo Buddhaya. Very well done, everyone. So let's um, look forward to moving on later and learning more. Um, on lesson two, the principles of subsidiarity and solidarity. Okay, very well done so far. I'm very encouraged um, all about this. This is the overall topic that we're doing under what is the common good and the next one, the principles of su subsidiarity and solidarity, is all about living in a community of persons. So it's very important that we get harmony about that we're happy happy harmony my two middle names <laughs> okay check you out next time i'm looking forward to the work in the coming in on the gc and working together and seeing your responses take care you always have my uh blessings my beloved students <laughs>